An amber weather warning has been issued by the United Kingdom's Met Office. Storm Dudley is building up pace in the northeast, as you can see right here. Currently, wind gusts of 42 knots. Not too bad, perhaps, but they are picking up pace. So, thought it a perfect time to jump into Microsoft Flight Simulator to test out the new live weather changes, which are a part of the Sim Update 8, currently in beta. Now, the main change here isn't really so much in the way that the weather is simulated, but rather the speed at which it loads in at. But all things considered, I think it's well worth taking a step back and having a look at the whole thing. And talking of the whole video, this video is sponsored by Blinkist. More from them in just a bit. So here I am on the website Windy TV or Windy.com, and you can see wind speeds at 42 knots in my present location. Over in Microsoft Flight Simulator, we can have a look at the world map and enable and disable some of the wind layers here. Now there's three layers all in. One of them is ground, the other is low, and the third is high. So we've got some different wind speeds at the various locations. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this particular feature on the world map, you may be wondering how accurate it is. Well, comparing Microsoft Flight Simulator to Windy.com, we can see that the overall weather pattern compares pretty favourably. The colours are different, of course, but that's a, just a different representation of pretty much the same data. Meanwhile, we're flying in sim here over the northeast of England. I've got Clear Skies preset currently enabled, but we are about to change that to live weather, and the idea here is to see just how fast the live weather update or the live weather data actually loads in. So uh, there were some problems where this was taking as long as five minutes to load in. Apparently that has been fixed and let's see just how quick that actually happens. There come the massive changes for the wind. Uh, the flight models had to adjust for that. And you can see it's just a matter of seconds. Now let's try another flight and see how accurate the data is here. Again, we got 44 knots as the wind speed. We can see that on the data on the left. Now, I'm a little bit unsure, to be perfectly honest, if that is ongoing wind speed or if that is wind gusts. Windy TV shows that wind gusts are around 40 knots, but current wind speed is around about 20 knots, so somewhat of a difference there. Either way, these type of wind speeds would certainly disrupt your travel plans, especially if you're into general aviation. This might mean that you're stuck inside with the need to find something else to do. So maybe today's video sponsors could help out. Sun comes up. Sun goes down. Sun comes up. Sun goes down. Time. It often seems to move so fast, there just isn't enough of it in the day. Recently, I made a 300 mile move away from a relatively busy town to a laid back countryside. Yet even here, the pressures of time remain. I often feel I'm missing out on some of the things that are most important to me, such as reading and learning new things. Now, I'm sure there are many others out there who feel quite similar. Fortunately, then, there's a wonderful app called Blinkist that can help out with this. Blinkist is a curated platform that allows you to get the key ideas from a variety of books in mere minutes. For example, I recently learned about antimatter, a subject that has intrigued me for years, but one that I simply haven't had time to learn about. This changed with a 12 minute blink that insightfully summarized the book Antimatter, providing some clear and in-depth information on the subject. With thousands of books and podcasts covered in this manner, I found that now I have time to discover all manner of content. Right now, Blinkist has a special offer for my audience. Click the link in the video description to start your free seven day trial with Blinkist and get 25% off a premium membership. Now, live weather within Microsoft Flight Simulator relies on METAR data. This comes from airports and weather observation stations. In my particular case, the nearest airport for this is Teesside International Airport, located in Durham. So we've got that selected. The METAR data is down here. The particular bit of information that we're interested in for wind speed is here. The first three digits are the bearing of the wind, and the last two digits show us the wind speed. So 27 knots in this particular case, but we've also got a forecast over the other side here. So winds up to 35 knots later in the day. Uh, further down, we can see winds are picking up speed even further. The matter face, meanwhile, is giving wind speeds of around about 35 knots here. Although the news is saying the news, perhaps over exaggerating, it states that the weather might reach 70 knots. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Back in Microsoft Flight Simulator, live weather enabled, we can see the clouds have picked up quite a bit here and the wind is certainly having an effect on the plane. 
Uh, yeah, word of advice, probably not best to fly in a Cessna with these type of wind speeds. But this video isn't about uh, the reality of flying in these wind speeds, it's rather about looking at how accurate the live weather actually is. So uh, let's just jump in and check that metadata data uh, here in the metadata data, meta data. Here in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, we need the same airport, which is situated in Durham, Tees Valley. There we go. And we can see that data 250 at 27 knots actually matches what we got from the other website. So yeah, so good going right there. So all in all, it seems pretty stable in this plane, doesn't it? I think we'd be uh, pitched and rolled around quite a bit with these type of wind speeds. And we can actually see that showing as 43 knots there on the uh, MFD. Visually, at least, this seems to be a bit more pronounced at lower altitudes. Again, not the sort of winds you'd want to fly in. And I'd expect to see the plane buffeted about far more than this, if indeed it was even possible. But at least, I suppose, the weather does seem to be working after a fashion. Do let me know your thoughts in the video in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. How do you feel about live weather as it stands right now in Microsoft Flight Simulator? As always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys and girls next time.